कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ फिनलैंड हेलसिंकी The Supreme Court on Tuesday directed the release of Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh on bail during the pendency of trial in the money laundering case related to the excise policy case. One of the top Iranian generals brigadier General Mohammad Reza Zahedi is among seven senior Iranian military and intelligence officers killed in an Israeli strike in the Syrian capital Damascus. BJP sitting MP from Bihar's Muzaffarpur Nagar Ajay Kumar Nishad joined the Congress on Tuesday days after the Safran Party denied him a ticket. The Sikkim Krantikari Morcha has expelled one of its members Ravi Chandran Rai for anti-party activities. Those were the top headlines and now for the news in details. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has not, not to be convicted and enjoys the majority support of the Delhi Legislative Assembly for which he cannot resign although he is in jail. This statement was given by Delhi Minister Atishi amid the controversy about Kejriwal functioning as Chief Minister from jail. When asked whether Kejriwal will resign from his post, Aam Aadmi Party leader and Minister Atishi said, there are two constitutional and legal provisions related to this country. The representative of the People Act says that if one has a conviction for more than two years, then the person cannot remain in a public representative, she said. Arvind Kejriwal has not been convicted, the minister reminded. Arvind Kejriwal enjoys the overwhelming majority of the Delhi Assembly for which there is no reason for Arvind Kejriwal to resign, she also stated. If Arvind Kejriwal resigns today, then it will be a very simple and straightforward solution for the Bhatia Janta Party to topple the opposition government, she said. First of all, you understand this thing, that legally and constitutionally, two of us are the same in our country, and the law of law is the same in our country. इस बात से जुड़े हुए सबसे पहले रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पीपल एक्ट ये कहता है कि अगर आपकी दो साल से ज्यादा कन्विक्शन हो तो फिर आप एक जन प्रतिनिधि नहीं रह सकते हैं चाहे आप विधायक हो चाहे आप सांसद अरविंद केजरीवाल का कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है कन्विक्शन छोड़िए आज तक अरविंद केजरीवाल चार्जशीट भी नहीं हुए नंबर वन दूसरी बात इस देश का संवैधानिक प्रावधान यह कहता है कि कोई व्यक्ति चीफ मिनिस्टर नहीं रह सकता उसे चीफ मिनिस्टर के पद से इस्तीफा देना होगा अगर वो अपने हाउस की मेजॉरिटी नहीं इंजॉय करता अरविंद केजरीवाल इंजॉय द ओवरवेलमिंग मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द दिल्ली असेंबली तो इसलिए अरविंद केजरीवाल के इस्तीफा देने का कोई भी कारण नहीं है अगर आज अरविंद केजरीवाल इस्तीफा दे देते हैं तो यह भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लिए एक बहुत सीधी और सरल एक एसओपी तैयार कर देती है एक स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर तैयार कर देता है जिस तरह उन्होंने पिछले आठ नौ साल में ऑपरेशन लोटस को एक स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला बना लिया है यह तो उससे भी आसान है ईडी के माध्यम से प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट में हर विपक्ष के मुख्यमंत्री के ऊपर केस कर दो उसके बाद उसे गिरफ्तार कर दो और फिर कहो कि संविधानिक संकट पैदा हो गया है इस्तीफा दो वरना हम राष्ट्रपति शासन लगाएंगे इससे आसान तरीका भारतीय जनता पार्टी के पास विपक्ष की सरकारें गिराने का क्या है दिल्ली में भी अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी का यही असली कारण है Ahead of the Lok Sabha elections in the country, former Yai School MLA Ilangbam Chan Singh, Bhatia Janta Party leader Sangol Sem Achuba Singh, advocate Oinam Hemanta Singh, and Thudam Deba Data Singh joined Congress Party. The announcement of their allegiance shift was made on Monday during a reception ceremony held at the Congress Bhavan in Imphal, Manipur. 
Dr. Agom Chabimol Akoyjam, the Congress candidate for the Lok Sabha polls, welcomed the new members into the party. Addressing the gathering, Dr. Akoyjam stated the importance of choosing candidates based on a genuine commitment to the welfare of Manipur rather than succumbing to external influence such as money and muscle power. He further stressed the need for citizens to make informed decisions that uphold the unity and integrity of the state. Highlighting the current state of affairs in Manipur, Dr. Akoyjam lamented the restrictions faced by the state's residents, emphasizing the need for change. Notably, one part of Manipur, which is the outer Manipur, is slated to go to polls in the second phase on April 26, 2024. A 12-year-old suspect has been taken into custody after carrying out a gun attack in a school, leading to the death of another 12-year-old and injuring two others in the capital city of Finland, Helsinki. Police said it had cordoned off a building at the school and the suspect was arrested peacefully in the suburb of Siltamaki, away from the school grounds. Both the suspect and the weapon have been taken into police custody and the victims were all 12 year old and student of the same school. Reports say that the suspect attempted to flat the spot and the handgun used in the shooting was licensed to a close relative of the shooter. The police, however, said they are yet to know the motive behind the attack. The suspect has been charged with murder and attempt to murder. Uh, shooting incident in the school named Viertalan Kolo in Vanta. And uh, according to the first information, we understood that there is some, uh, there are some people who are injured in this occasion. Uh, after the first calls, police immediately entered into the school area and started to, to look for the suspect and uh, started as well the first aid in this location and found out that uh, there was uh, at least three people injured and uh, after that we started uh, looking for the suspect according to our own information uh, we managed to find the suspect two minutes before 10 a.m. in the morning in the short what happened this morning yeah according to the latest information one of the victims died uh, almost immediately at this location in the school and uh, two other victims were transported to the the advisor for Law and Order Justice and Land Revenue T.N. Manan has called for unity of the people. He said unity is important for progress and he was speaking during the installation of the 23rd Impur Assembly Constituency Treasury Office of the National Democratic Progressive Party, which was conducted at Gobulong in Mokokchung on March 2. In his keynote address, Manan asserted that the biggest challenge for the 23rd Impur Assembly Constituency is unity because of the disunity and fighting has led to the community losing the race in terms of advancement, whether big or small, he said. The bond of unity is very important to progress, he, Manen also said, and he has urged the people to unity and from this time onwards to do away with the hatred created by politics. Impur has the opportunity this time to be from to be from the ruling party for which he urged the people to take advantage and bring in development needed by the people. The advisor challenged the party's workers to pull up their socks and discharge their duties to help the party's candidate with a thumping victory. Well, as you all know, in book constituency, a very sensitive constituency because one of the reasons is that it's a Christian center. And then uh, we are the PGB partners, even though, as we all understand, that religions and uh, mundane kind of activities are two different things. People misunderstand all these things. So they think that the uh, joining PGB as a partner 
is a sort of a kind of, uh, uh, it's, it's rather is an anti-Christian, which is I don't think is really correct. Now the church leaders, I was beginning to understand that these two should not be mixed up. So I, I'm quite hopeful that the uh, coming election will be, I think, the result should be perhaps as good as, or if not better, than the Assembly Constituency result. That's what I feel. So well, what we have started today, as you all know, it is a challenge. Unfortunately or unfortunately, as I said, that the, in the house of a new treasury, now we are going to have a new beginning. So hopefully, I think uh, we'll have a new, better beginning. It's, uh, it is always a political utterances. I don't know, because the, even PGP is claiming that they are very secular, because the important thing is that Indian constitution is very clear. That the secular is not religion. Even though, like for instance, in Nagaland, all the ministers, all the ministers are mostly Christian. So we all go to church, as we all know. And then in all the Christian um, sort of activities, and also the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, celebrations, we all very happily participate. Similarly, most of the Indians, as you all know, are all Hindus. So they participate in all the religious activities of the Hindu. So therefore, people should not misunderstand that because the interesting participate in the religious activity that doesn't mean that they are foregoing the Indian constitution, which is absolutely secular. Unless the constitution is amended, changing all that, I don't think uh, they believe in that. So even Mr. Modi, our Prime Minister, has very clearly mentioned that if there's any persecution in the name of religion against any minority, to let him know so that at least he will take a, uh, appropriate measures to counter all that. So I believe in that. So it is also our responsibility to report if there's such uh, uh, persecution or any discrimination against any religious uh, minorities. That's what I believe. For the first time in Nagaland, 60 MLA has uh, 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 has um, uh, sworn that they should support the PT candidates. So hopefully, all the 60 MLA means they represent the entire Nagaland state. So therefore, definitely, we hope to have a thumping majority. That is, I think, uh, you should also agree with me that we'll have a thumping majority. We'll now be taking a short break. Stay tuned. टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट घर जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शील्ड जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर गर्म ते पेट और मुंह के ठंडा रखे तो कि मुखी खाली मीठा है लगे इधर हेल्दी है से यूएचटी ट्रीटेड और सफाई भी है से थर्ड इधर फ्रेश है से और मुझे भी वाव केविंटर लस्सी मीठा भी हेल्दी भी केविंटर लस्सी मीठा भी हेल्दी भी डरमत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक � Welcome back. Heading on to the next news. Nagaland's Minister for Public Works Department of Roads and Bridges, G. Kaito Ai, has asserted that the Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party is returning to power. 
The minister gave the statement on the sidelines of a sporting event of the Sumi Games and Sports Association scheduled for April 2 to the tent in Shukubu village of Chumukidima. I told Hornbill TV that NDPP is winning and if NDPP loses the elections, Nagaland will be in opposition seat and that the state cannot afford to be in opposition. Our reporter has the details. Shukovi village Chumukidi Maria Higanese. Aro Aji Yere Yaro Yere Sumi Sports even Yere Shukovi village te Takese. Itunishna Hornbill TV Prayere Pariatak. I hear Din de Itia Lok Saba election. I will let Takia Laupor, Rot and Bridges Laga Minister G. Kaito Ayeke Kotagru. The NDPP is going to be holding a mass rally across five districts in Nagaland, sir. Can you please elaborate even on about the election? Yes, sir, yes, sir. We are sure winning. People are with us. Okay, and the 60 is fighting for the lone seat which will represent Nagaland to the Lok Sabha. If we fail to do that, we remain opposition. And Nagas cannot afford to remain in opposition. Right. The, the BJP-led government, and Delhi is doing wonderful work for the nation, where we should also have a participation. Right. Sir, so uh, it, you can confirm the fact that NDPP is going to hold rally across five districts in Nagaland, sir, because it's just up on news. Sure, NDPP is winning, it's coming back. We are requesting our NPO to join us. This is not our election, this is a nation's election. So we have to uh, ventilate who, who we are. If unless you cast your vote for your uh, choice, then the, 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 there's no verdict. Vote is the only verdict for the people. So when it comes to the road construction, sir, one major issue was uh, the land holding system that was actually bearing uh, the constructions of uh, in a lot of places, sir. How is the issue going? Because the union uh, minister has actually cautioned the government on this, sir. Uh, that issue is a little hardly is going on, but we are taking up uh, the committee set up to see that uh, how to go ahead. But there's a provision only for the measures of their development. But otherwise, there's no land compensation. Sir, lastly, the names of the contractors being put up in signboards in the road, sir. How actively is it being practiced now in Nagaland, sir? We are trying to see that. I've just taken over. It's already one year, one, year, one month. Anyway, I could not uh, kick up, take off according to what I feel. We have lots of backlog. I'm trying to clear it within a few months' time and see that some improvement will be made. Itia gani man huwa hon bil TV apne angi to for latest updates kan mi ani thagi huwa. Moi reporter kya kisi nyukhe huwa with camera person Joy Watch for hon bil TV chumgiri ma. The Supreme Court on Tuesday directed the release of Ahmad Me Party MP Sanjay Singh on bail during the pendency of a trial in a money laundering case related to the excise policy case. The top court passed down the ruling during a hearing on Singh's plea challenging his arrest and remand in the money laundering case. An enforcement directorate informed the apex court that the agency had no objection to Singh getting bailed. Advocate of Sanjay Singh, Rishikesh Kumar, while speaking to media persons after the bail was granted, said that the most astonishing factor was that Sanjay Singh has been granted bail because the enforcement directorate or the ED did not argue their case at all and considered on the bail because it was all apparent during the hearing and it was made clear by the judges before lunch that against Sanjay Singh there is no credible material. I have no objection in case the appellant stay over there before that leave granted. Sanjay Singh is released on bail during pendency of the proceedings arising out of what's a arising out of ECR stroke HIO dash stroke two stroke fourteen stroke twenty twenty two is shooting in respect of offense under sections 3 and 4 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002. Full stop. Next page. In view of the statement made, we allow the present appeal and direct to what one? To what one? We allow the present appeal and direct that the applet 
Dash Sanjay Singh will be released on bail during the pendency of the aforesaid trial on terms and conditions to be fixed by the trial court. So stop. Next paragraph. The that's all we need not mention. Not merits. I have not canvassed my lot of merits. Okay. Merit. Uh, and this so this this is not to be cited as a precedent anywhere. Okay. We clarify that the concession given in the court today would not be treated as a precedent. In would not be treated as precedent. Full we'll stop. Secondly, the. The appellate Sanjay Singh will be entitled to continue with his political activities undertake and continue with his political activities. However, the subject, however, that's all. Why should we discuss this? No, with, let's let's not be let's not be. If we do that, it will be another incentive for him to talk about it. But you have been gracious enough to say that. Uh, A sentence it is not required, but that you can. Okay, that sentence we cut it. Then last, last, last second part we'll cut it. Today what happened in Sanjay Singh matter? Sanjay Singh matter today listed for the argument and uh, Sanjay Singh has been granted bail. And the most astonishing factor that uh, Sanjay Singh has been granted bail because ED did not argue their case at all and conceded on the bail because it was all apparent during the hearing and it was made clear by the judges. Honorable judges has made it clear before lunch that the against Sanjay Singh there is no credible material to make a case against him. So therefore, considering this, ED has given a concession. ED have ED has conceded before the court and by conceding the concession, the Honorable Supreme Court has granted bail to Sanjay Singh. Singh was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate on October 4, 2023 in the money laundering case, citing his alleged role in framing and implementing the now scraped Delhi excise policy. As per ED, the policy was aimed at benefiting certain liquor manufacturer, wholesalers and retailers. A trial court had rejected Singh's bail plea on December 22 and the Delhi High Court rejected his bail application on February 9 and he then moved, um, moved the top court. Meanwhile, Singh's mother Radhika Singh and AAP national spokesperson Priyanka Kakkar reacted to his bail announcement. <laughs> मेरे बेटे की आज रिहाई हो रही है हो गई है बहुत बहुत खुशी है दिल से खुश है हम तो मां हैं हम तो खुश होंगे ही और सब खुश हैं तो आपको पूरा विश्वास था कि उनको जमानत मिलेगी हमको पूरा एकदम आई होप्ड पूरा विश्वास था हमको कि मेरा बेटा तो निर्दोष है ईमानदार है उसको तो ले ही जाना नहीं था ले ही नहीं जाना था मगर ले गए तो अच्छी बात है लेकिन हां बेल मिल गई यार तो उतनी ही खुशी मिली है जितनी खुशी जितना दुख हमको मिला था उस दिन उतनी ही खुशी आज मिली है पर अभी भी शायद मुश्किलें कम नहीं हुई क्योंकि मुख्यमंत्री अभी भी जेल में हैं चलिए हो जाएगी कम हो जाएंगी मुश्किलें सब ऊपर वाले हैं जब इतना हो गया है तो अब मुश्किलें कम होगी ऐसी ऐसी बात नहीं है अब थोड़ा सा अब, मुश्किल तो आदमी भगवान भी काट लिए तो मुश्किल काटना कोई वो नहीं बस मुश्किल टल जाए वो बहुत बड़ी बात है जिस दिन वो जेल में गए थे उस दिन के आपके आंसू में आंसू थे आज भी आपके आंसू में आज आज खुशी के आंसू है ना आज तो इतने खुश हूं मैं कि खुशी के आंसू है आज अरे ये आज भगवान जी हमारे साथ है बजरंगबली हमारे साथ है सच की जीत हुई है हम तो शुरू से ही कह रहे थे कि ये पूरा का पूरा केस फर्जी है और भाजपा के दफ्तर में लिखा गया है करीब 500 रेड के बाद भी एक चवन्नी की रिकवरी नहीं हुई आज सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी कहा जब मनी ट्रेल ही नहीं मिली तो हिरासत में रखने का क्या मतलब है हां पर मनी ट्रेल एक केस में जरूर मिली है जहां शरद रेड्डी ने भाजपा को 60 करोड़ दिया उसके अरेस्ट के बाद जिसके बाद वो सरकारी गवाह बना और जिसके बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को उसके बयान के आधार पर हिरासत में लिया गया तो क्या भाजपा अब जांच करेगी भाजपा के टॉप लीडर्स गिरफ्तार होंगे ये बहुत जरूरी है कि सवाल पूछा जाए तो आगे क्या उम्मीद है और जो लीडर्स जेल के अंदर हैं क्या उनको भी बेल मिल सकता है आप देखिएगा एक-एक करके इनका झूठ का ढेर 
कैसे अब बिखरेगा दो साल से हमारे ऊपर अनगिनत जांचें हो गई हैं दो साल से ही क्या जब से हम सत्ता में आए लगातार आम आदमी पार्टी के ऊपर जांचें होती हैं और हम अल्टीमेटली सब में क्लीन होते हैं अगर हम करप्ट होते तो भाजपा में शामिल होकर साफ हो जाते पर हम सच्चे लोग हैं ईमानदार लोग हैं हमारा एक एक नेता कट्टर ईमानदार है और ये आज उसी बात का प्रमाण है That's all for the Prime Time Bulletin. This is your anchor signing off.